Well, um, you know, liquid nitrogen is such interesting stuff, and there's so many things we can do with it. What do you think would happen if I'd stick my finger in there? Ow. Ow, that's right. That would be a very dangerous thing to do. Remember what happened to the hose and the banana. But there is a remarkable thing that you can do with liquid nitrogen. And that is, I can take it and I can pour it over my hand and just let it roll off my hand. And I hardly feel anything. And you may wonder how I can do that without freezing my hand. Well, um, the reason is that when the nitrogen comes in contact with my hand, it boils right away because my hand is very warm compared to the nitrogen. When it boils, that forms a layer of nitrogen gas that is between the liquid and my hand. Now, heat doesn't propagate very easily through gases like it does through liquids and solids, so it forms a kind of an insulated layer that protects my hand. There's actually a fancy name for this. It's called the Leyden frost effect, and you're probably all familiar with it. Have you ever gone into your kitchen and put a, a skillet on the stove and got it really hot and then dropped a few drops of water on it? Have you seen that the water doesn't boil right away? It forms little tiny droplets, and the droplets kind of dance around. Have you seen that happen? It's really neat, and it turns out that back here we have a hot plate right here, and it's nice and warm, and we're displaying it on the TV monitor here, so you might want to watch on either side. And I have here a little bit of water, and I have an eyedropper, just so I can put the water in in a controllable way. So I'm going to just put some of this on the hot plate and watch on the TV monitor what happens. A little bit more. You see how these little water droplets dance around, and they don't boil right away. 